hi and welcome to my newest tutorial for this beautiful diptych before we start pouring the resin i wanted to take a moment to show you the final results and this is how the final artwork looks like so i think it's gonna help you to have a better understanding about what kind of effect we are gonna to pour together before it's all because it's a lot of uh, very delicate colors and very delicate shading i decided that it's gonna be super valuable for you guys to see this close up first before you will see my uh, tutorial on pouring and you can see the glitter how the glitter looks like around the druzy how the white shade and ombre effect with the gray how the green color looks like because we are building here the opacity and we're going between transparent and more milky foggy white looking uh, green color and then we are building up from very delicate white up to the gray ombre as well and i'm showing you on the pour both of the panels and it's really light color that i'm pouring that's why i want to be sure that you see those effects but remember that i'm showing you here the final results and the final artwork where i already put the gold details i already pulled uh, down uh, i did the line work i pour uh, the top coat and i also added the druzy highlights and this this is the full look that was at the end after me completing all of the steps so if you want to see the entire class on this geode if you want to have an explanation on every single step that i'm doing please check the description i'm gonna put my link to the classes and you can enroll and see eight hours of class dedicated for this specific geode painting and also you can learn how to finish it differently and how to discover your own voice in the process okay let's put this beautiful geode diptych together i have already pre-mixed my pigments in the cups and now i'm pouring first layer which is white and silver glitter mixed in the transparent resin i'm using for this project geode resin from colorberry and I'm mixing it with different pigments to achieve different results. The day before I already prepared all of the crystal and druzy design and now I'm just showing you how I'm pouring the lines. I'm always making sure that I have enough resin in the cup to cover both sides of the druzy and also as you can see I'm using paper cups to squeeze them and to control the resin much better than when you have the flow from a plastic cup now i'm mixing a small amount of white pigment uh, from colorberry pigment paste into transparent resin and i'm pouring around the line with glitter and because i'm using the first lines are very light very white there is not much you can see but i'm adding with each line i'm adding a little bit more of white pigment paste to build the opacity and as you can see my technique of pouring resin is to working with small lines and i'm building one line at a time i'm every time pouring very small lines and each line that i'm pouring on the canvas it's a little bit different so i'm working with a little bit more pigment I'm working with a little bit more opacity or transparency and this is how I'm building up um, different effects and now I'm adding a little bit of gray to my white already white tinted resin and I'm trying to build up opacity with a little bit of different shade because I have some gray color in my crystals i have some green i have some white i'm also working with the same colors on the panel and i'm always my rule number one is to have my design with crystal uh, to be the heart of the geode and this is why everything else all of the resin all of the detail work that i'm creating is going with the flow of the center and i'm pouring one line at a time i'm adding a little bit of more gray pigment and i'm working um, 
working on the opacity here. And the gray pigment paste is also from Colorberry white pigment paste and green pigment paste, uh, gray pigment paste that I'm using is also from Colorberry um, that I use for this specific project. And all stages of this project, the prep work, uh, Druzy, how I put the crystals, how I'm finishing uh, the panels with detail work, with line work, with gold, and how I'm gonna build up um, the edges actually to pour the top coat because you will see a surprising finish if you stay till the end of the video you will see a surprising finish uh, with some structure paste and this is what you need to remember that if you have structure paste or negative space on your panel this is much more advanced than uh, when you pour especially when you top coat it so now i'm pouring a little bit more deep gray color to finish this look and as I said because I'm showing you both panels at the same time the size of those panels is one panel is 40 by 50 centimeters which is around 16 by 20 inches and the entire artwork both panels together is 80 by 50 centimeters so it's quite it's not very large project but it's quite big uh, so you don't see a lot of the details right now when I'm pouring and I'm showing you both panels at the same time but I hope that the explanation is gonna be sufficient and now I'm pouring line I'm finishing the design with gray with transparent resin mixed with a little bit of iridescent white glitter this is what I do before I move to green and now I use alcohol ink that I matched with my crystals and this is also an advanced technique that I'm teaching in my classes how to match the color of your resin to the color of your crystals and I'm teaching you how exactly you can do that so everything is going in the perfect flow all together right because I want the resin to complement my crystal design that's why I want to make sure that the resin is matching the shade of the green that I'm having in the crystals and I'm building now the opacity so I'm starting with very very light green color uh, and this is what you need to remember when you are building the opacity always start with small amount of pigment and build up from there and you will then see amazing results you can always add more pigment but you can never take it out from the cup so always remember to do that and you can always test a little bit of the resin tinted resin on your panel to see how it looks like and now i decided to add a tiny bit amount like mosquito fart amount of white pigment into my green uh, to make it a little bit more foggy milky look and I'm just building the the opacity here and I'm using my stick to collect the, connect the lines because this is helping me to do geode shaping but also to feel better the piece how everything is flowing um, before the resin spread by itself and of course, at the, the, the longer you work with resin, the more jelly jelly is getting and the more difficult it is to pour it. And I feel like the more work I need to do to connect the lines with the stick if I want to feel the flow of the painting. And right now I'm still working on building the opacity. So I added a little bit more white here and I'm pouring another line. As you can see, I'm working with very small lines, as I mentioned at the beginning of this pour. I'm using the stick a lot. And always remember, my pro tip is to always remember how much resin. Um, be very cautious about the amount of resin, so it's enough to pour around both sides of the jersey on both panels. Because it's so difficult to then mix this another batch of resin 
if you will be like out of the resin halfway it's very very difficult to mix another batch of resin that is gonna match exactly the previous mixture so this is a pro tip and if you have a little bit too much if you're worrying that you will have a little bit too much that's okay because you can use this resin um, later and now i'm adding green glitter i have like a green glitter for nail art and this is actually the second part of the video i made a break here i had to go to pick up my kids and i made a couple of hours i think around five hours of break in between the pour i finished um my pour with some glitter lines and with green glitter that i had for nail art very soft green glitter and now i'm mixing another batch of the resin to continue pouring so it's completely new batch of the resin and my pro tip for you guys is to always use art calculator um, like resin calculator i'm using art resin for color berry because she doesn't have her own calculator but i'm always calculating how much resin do i need for the project and if you're just starting out please remember to not mix more than 300 milliliters of resin at a time you can always mix another batch of resin but if you mix too much resin and you are pouring slower then it can be a lot of waste in your cup because the resin at some point it's gonna be so hard that it's, you will not be able to pour it you can still use the stick to spread it but not really pour it and i'm just working again back with white pigment so i'm doing exactly the same look very soft white that i started at the beginning of my pour so i'm going back to white color and I'm going from very soft white to a little bit more grayish white. And now I'm pouring the white that it's mixed with a tiny bit amount of gray. And my last line is gonna be, almost last line is gonna be a little bit more darker gray. And then I'm gonna finish it with completely different pigment powder, mica powder which is um, diamond earrings from Fox Rizzle. But it's a pigment that it's not very easily uh, accessible in Europe. So if you are in a place that you cannot get a specific pigment color, uh, you can also finish this painting with a very, very fine champagne gold. It's going to give you very very similar look to the one that i'm gonna have in just a moment and i also decided to actually finish my pour sooner and to not complete uh to not finish the pouring the the entire panel and i decided instead to choose a negative space with some structure paste which you will see in just a moment but now before i end up I'm having first, after the gray, I'm having just iridescent glitter. It's the glitter that it's matching exactly the same one that I use at the end of my grayish lines in the previous. Before I started to pour green, I also finished my look with iridescent white mixed with transparent resin. And this is what I'm doing now. And my last line is going to be the look that it's very much close to fine champagne gold glitter but it's pigment um diamond earrings and i was having a small small dot at the edge of my panel with cured resin and i actually was thinking about finishing my pour that's why i used the heat gun to warm up the resin and to remove it and then i was using white acrylic paint to retouch the gesso on the panels so it looks very refreshed because i was having just white gesso now i use a brush with a little bit of acrylic 
titanium white paint to make it look nice and clean and at the end I'm gonna just apply a little bit of structure paste and if you want to like I mentioned if you want to see the exact you know in real life pour because this video is speeded up six times this is the diamond earring pigment that I was talking about this video was speed up six times so you guys have the all of the essence but if you want to me to pour in the real time if you want to have over over the shoulder inside look if you want to hear all of my comments if you want me to see to see how I'm mixing the colors how exactly what was the amount of pigment that I was using Please join the classes for this beautiful diptych and you will learn how to finish all of the detail work differently, how you to discover your own voice in the artwork creation process and how to make those beautiful designs yourself, how to actually learn how to make the decisions when you are pouring, because I think this is a very crucial knowledge. And yeah. I'm gonna meet you in the next tutorials. I'm having also other paintings when I'm showing you how I'm pouring resin. I'm having a lot of tips and tricks, advanced tips and tricks for geode paintings. And at the end of this painting, just remember to torch it and that's it. You don't have to use any heat gun. You cannot use heat gun. Just torch the entire surface and let it cure. And yeah. And that's it. I'm gonna meet you in the next videos and I'm gonna see you there where you can learn a lot of the inside tricks from the geode artist. This is the structure paste that I use to finish the, the painting from the PBO and the small spatula. So thank you for watching.